Cloud9. They prioritized the champion so heavily, and they called the bluff too. They said, we could get Tom Kench second round. You're not going to take it because you prioritized Braum over. It's just so quick. A lot of people will actually duck out of lane, look like they're warding, pick up their jungler, and then do a back gank. It, it gets pretty dirty. And here we go. Speaking of getting pretty dirty, this top lane. Good cut. Oh, Impact actually got a bit of extra shield there. Seraph going to get chased down again. Phase I required. Flash in Impact. Does he? Oh, he's oh, got he does. First blood there. Ult is out under the turret. Another solo kill for Impact. On those walls that you can. It's the ones where, like, Nidalee can jump over. But speaking of Nidalee... Get chased down by Meteos. Great flash on Baro there as Meteos gets himself a kill. And Proxim wasn't expecting that. He had his flash up as well and not able to react. Uh oh. No, no, no. He's going to push up because he wants to clear the wave. And he heard it. Oh, oh he gonna follows get in. Yeah, face dive falls off to the blink and Seraph is going to get chased again. Impact one more time. Who counters who? This Cassidy. Impact counters Seraph apparently as yep. Ninja gets himself knocked. And we'll see if Cloud9 with actually four oh, members. Is that Pistol Void? Yes, it is. Void is in onto Hako. Arrow's going to land in. They've actually moved Smoothie, uh, Meteos in as well. I think he's going to have to flash out of the way as Proxen has joined in. But 4v3 for Cloud9 with one cut off and Lot's just dead. And Lot, yeah, I mean, everybody else gets out, but they spent a lot to get him. And now this bottom turret wide open for Cloud9 to take. The impact not done. Actually, after Seraph again, but now they're in the mid lane. Gets locked down by the snare. Impact does have an ult. He actually uses the dodges out of the way. You are kidding me. Absolute. Wall goes down and Proxen's able to escape on top of it. And hey. Surprise. Impact's at it again. Goodbye, Lord. Impact going to chase him down. Timeline to land. Impact with another. Hako stunned by Sneaky Zero. He's going to get eaten. No smoothie. Just tongues him to death. Yeah. And Cloud9 there for his buddy. Yeah. Oh, man. This, this is really ninja. rude. Riding in onto Ninja. Ninja gets tagged. Smoothie flashes in for him. Knockback there as Meteos able to kill him before the shove happens. Did he move? Yeah, he's he didn't. Gone. It wasn't there. He's Seraph, gone. though. Yeah, he's dead, I think. Yep, flash. Maybe enough. Needs a blink. Gonna keep running forward. Gets exhausted. Blinks over the wall. Very nicely done, but Meteos gonna follow with the tunnel. Flash on Barrow. That should secure the kill. Meteos grabs his third and join back in. And uh, Envy kind of cut off now. Ninja gonna get soloed down by Impact. Envy just cannot defend. Versus oh the Rampaging gosh. Echo. Time to land in. Impact still buying a lot more time. He ulti's out of the way. Not quite stunned just yet. Not, oh, does good. Actually gets stunned as the shutdown comes on Prox and Impact. Little he knew his right off the bat. Well, it's looking good. Sin 9 collapsing for this mountain drive. Impact's gonna chase down Lord. Looking for another kill here. Meteor's gonna dive into the back and see here is Meteor. Now at a rampage, Ninja eats an arrow. Proxen flashing out with no health left. His Jensen's gonna flash the wall. Look to try and take some kills down. Impact on the off screen. Takes out Hakaho. And now they're gonna dive in for another kill. Jensen face taking the turret. Gets eaten up by Smoothie. Very clean dive from Cloud9. As Sneaky does kill Seraph. And where's Impact? Just casually diving. Yep. Two turrets. Yep, casually diving. Not a problem there at all. Smoothie, no. Uh oh. Smoothie sacrifices his life, though! No, sneaky! <laughs> Gets himself not great. Yeah, the, the last ones were much bloodier than that one. Ooh, more damage. Ooh. Smoothie again. Trying to protect old Sneaky. Jensen keeping Lord back, though. That's big damage. Jensen able to get himself a kill. Now Impact finds his way finally into the team fight. Hakaho going to get himself locked up. Ninja unbarred there as Impact's diving straight in onto Ninja. Wants it, goes for it. Blink, uh, blinks forward there with a the flash. Forced to ult the out. Can't complete the kill. Yep, got the third proc. Very low turret. You can't actually use this as safety. Ooh. It's Ninja. Ninja tagged in. There's the Weaver's War Cloud. Now going to complete the dive here. Turret getting low, but not dead yet. Hakaho. Kind of chained up in that front line, but now going to stand aside away. But Impact just dives in. He takes out Ninja. Ulti's out to safety. Hakaho and Lord bleeding low as well. Impact looking to ring. Baron's still on the table, and they just have absolute control. Oh, right into it. Very nice from Jensen. Proxen might be okay. Jensen's going to keep got, following he's in. Got right. He's got it. Yeah, he's able to chase in. Oh, oh. that's not the right direction. Flashes oh. it forward anyway. Says I can style too. Yep, the ghost. Wave instead. And oh, arrow right into his face. Impact going to dive in. Ninja nowhere to go, and that's going to be another kill for Cloud9. Sneaky with that one. And now this middle turret, Drake, it'll help you take that Baron a little bit faster, but wait, no, they aren't. Jensen wants in, he goes straight for it. Look, it's chopped on, and that's an easy kill. Smoothie going to flash in, eats Hakaho before he can stand away, and that's just a bouncy castle of CC as Impact claims his seventh kill of the game. Cloud9 open it right up and run it down mid. Yeah, they might be able to get two of these inhibitors here. And Envy, they're going to try to flank with Seraph and Proxen. It's not like uh, Kennen. They took down Liquid yesterday, 3-0. They've got to be feeling good about that. Jensen. Ooh, does get him out of the way. Never mind. Bullet goes under Medios. And here comes Smoothie and Sneaky. He's going to be like, oh, my AD carry. Yeah. I sold him out. That's not enough. And now Sneaky, you know, not safe at all. This might be Baron for Envy if they uh, decide to turn on it. something to say about Baron. He actually ulties out of the way, but 
Maybe he doesn't have enough for his 1v5. How much magic does he have this time? Gonna juke out as best he can, but a slow hit in, and there's a the shutdown on Favaris. That is huge. Decent damage here. Videos just has to sneak in for it, but he's gonna get zoned, and they're not gonna get it. Baron goes over to Envy, and we might have a game here. Yeah. Eight impact dives in, trying to buy time, and they desperately want him, but ooh, gives one right back. Yep, Meteor is able to snipe. Now is the time to take this bottom in him, because Prox is not alive, and you have that numbers advantage. Good little wall. Make sure the inhibitor can be five now. Yeah. Some of them are cresting those uh -oh. kind of marks. Never mind. Not, Everything's though. going wrong. Hakuho going to get stunned up there as he face checks the rod. Yeah, I was going to say that, you know, we've seen those games go long for Envy, but they don't win a whole lot of them because they face check thing. We've seen Ninja get over aggressive on things like Karma and series that they could have Oh, won. Seraph, that was a sick knockback by Jensen. The smoothie going to collect credit for that kill. And C9, no, two dead. Don't worry about the Baron. Let's try and close the and game. Here they go. Abyssal Voyage into the back line, and he's going to be delivering Meteos. Meteos. Well, Lord Proxen and Ninja all chased out of their own base. Meteos tags two there with the Umbaro, and Lord now going to get flushed on there by Jensen. That's going to be a kill for Cloud9. A smoothie going to flash forward and try and take down Ninja. Needs a little bit more. Going to miss that tongue left, but Impact diving in instead. And as always, Impact has the final stamp on that kill. Yep, and this is going to be Cloud9 waiting for these minion waves as they start to push them up. They need both inhibitors, but they don't have those waves just yet. Well, they're going to take two down here. What else do they want here? Sneaky guiding the wave in on bottom line. Death time is very long. Ninja, 40 seconds away. Yeah, but they will have the wave clear that they need in Lod up in 20 seconds. And Seraph will be up as well in five. Is that enough, though? These minions are going to take down that backdoor bonus right now. Five, and Cloud9 are going for the jugular. They're going to try and close it. There's Nexus turret number one. Impact actually tanking up the turret hits here, but Meteor's going to move his way back in. Impact going to tank it down as Jensen shoves another two back. As Sneaky gets a double. Arrow goes wide as Seraph flashes it, but he'll die instead. Sneaky getting jumped up, but his team is there to protect him. And Cloud9 are going to look to close this game out. Lord going to get trapped in the base, but Cloud9 going to sweep the series to play Immortals tomorrow in what was one of the best series in the playoffs.